Hello everybody, welcome back to a bit more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again and we are gonna go and randomize our character. We haven't used the randomizer in a little while, but we're jumping back into it. And we get Tainted Azazel. Let's give him a go. I haven't played Tainted Azazel in quite some time, actually. I think he's quite a fun lad, so let's give him a go. We've actually got quite a lot of m uh, marks to unlock this guy. Now that we're fully into Fiend Folio, I think we can start actually going after marks a little more actively than we have been before, so we shall try it. And see what we get. See what we get. Okay, well, so we already start off pretty bad start with an item that is mostly useless. But it does give you five coins on pickup. Which honestly could buy us a soul heart. So if there was one there, but there isn't. Um, <laughs> won't just too heavily. But I think this could be a potentially very good character for um, Fiend Folio. Just because I think having the ability to like do the brimstone curse on enemies could be kind of good. Let's just pop all these poops real quick. Good, good. Yeah, I feel like it could be a good way of uh, dealing with some of these enemies like that look. Ooh, I don't know. I just want to say I don't know how these guys work, but I'm guessing I don't want to be anywhere near any of the uh, gunpowder or ash or whatever you want to call it. Some people have said it's ash. Some people have said it's gunpowder. I'm liable to believe both, to be honest. Ash doesn't really ignite, so it makes more sense that it's gunpowder, but there you go. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, this is one that I actually cannot believe that I haven't asked yet, um, or at least I can't remember that I've asked. Um, what pets do you have and what are their names? That's just a really wholesome one that I feel like I haven't asked before that needs to be asked. I love, I love pets. I, um, I unfortunately don't have any of my own right now, uh, because I live in a flat and we, they don't allow pets. Uh, but I would, if I could, have a cat, because I love cats. Um, it, my family has had many a cat throughout my life. Um, I've had like, I think when I was when I was a little kid, we had like four, um, three or four, I think it was three. Um, and then we had two when I grew up a little bit. And then after they passed away, we had one more. Um, and then once I moved out, my parents got another cat. So we've had quite a lot of cats. <laughs> Basically throughout my entire life, we've always had cats in some way or another. Okay, so we got the brimstone cast in this guy. Good, good. Nice. Obviously we're gonna get a cube of meat here. Not too enthused about that, but we'll go down to the downpour, because why not? I like going to the downpour on the um, Fiend Folio runs. But yeah, so I don't remember the names of all of my um, the cats when I was a lot younger, because I genuinely, I just, I don't really remember them. I only have vague memories of those. But the, the two that I had when I was a little older um, in the house I mainly grew up in from when I was like five and onwards. Um, we had a cat called Jimmy and a cat called Pookie. They were named by the previous owners, um that we got them from, so we just left left their names as is because they were just cute. I especially liked Jimmy. But um, they were very, very different cats. Um, Pookie was like a, a black cat that was quite reserved and didn't really like people too much. She, for some reason, took a particular liking to me, which I was obviously very happy about. But um, I don't really know how to best deal with these enemies, I'll be honest. This is weird. Um, okay, I feel like I've made a mistake here. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, that guy we didn't have to deal with at all, I see. Um, yeah, she was quite reserved, but she uh, took a liking to me, and I lived in, like, the, the attic room, and she really liked it up there, so I got to hang out with Pookie quite a lot. But unfortunately, she died a bit, like, a few a good few years before Jimmy. Uh, she had a heart attack or something. It was quite sad. Um, but uh, Jimmy, he was... He, it's not like he loved people. It's not like he always wanted to be around people, but he was, like the most docile, relaxed cat I've ever seen in my life. So he just didn't mind when people were around. It's not that he preferred it or disliked it or anything. He just didn't mind. Um, I don't think that really makes much of a difference to us. A, Haunted Rose is pretty good. It gives us another soul heart. And I actually think it's good to get the ghost bombs in there as well as... Um... Wait, how does this room work? Do we have to bomb to get through here? It's kind of BS. <laughs> oh, there's a button. Okay, I see. I was going to say, that's not really fair. Um, ooh, I would love the smell. I'm going to hold off. Um, do you know what? Let's get out of here before these guys drop on me. I'm going to hold off and see if we get like a pageant boy drop or something like that. It's it's plausible. Because um, I, I would really like to grab Smelter. Especially with the trinket we've got right now. I don't know if I'll use a bomb on this guy. I'm certainly tempted. But we got a Brimstone's Curse on him already, which birds well. Damn it, I got caught then. But it's okay, because we spawned some ghosts, which will do good damage for us. We like that. 
The ghosts don't last too long, but we'll do a decent job. Ah, I falls this up a little bit. Okay, luckily, that helped us out. I managed to shoot that shot right back at him there. We got the deviled eggs. We got two immortal hearts and uh, plus three tears up. I want to take a devil deal here. Um, I'm pretty happy that I did as well. Okay, nice. Definitely take that. And yeah, away we go. I will go back and buy the soul heart. But otherwise, I'm good to go. I'm glad that it was allowed to use our immortal hearts there. I'll also check for a secret room here. As I'm fairly sure there is one. And indeed there was. Ooh, can we? Yeah, we can. Okay, nice. Ooh, we got uh, one of these fiendish coins. Holy. Okay, so that was actually uh, really strange. So I don't know if you noticed what happened there. But I stepped into that. It blew up, and it consequently gave me magic mush. <laughs> and then from this, we got Hungry Soul. So, pretty pretty darn successful there, I'd say. Um, pretty huge damage up there. And um, we almost got enough money to um, to grab Smelter, but not quite. So we're just gonna have to settle for a Soul Heart. But pretty pretty good stuff there. Getting magic mush out of accidentally exploding a mushroom via a random devilish penny. That's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with that. <laughs> I haven't had magic mush in so long. I cannot remember the last time. Um, but yeah, now my now my parents have a cat called Jasper. Um, who's he? He's kind of a little shit. <laughs> he was a street cat for a long time. Um, and he's lovely, but he 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 can be a bit of a shit. <laughs> but it's it's an endearing sort of a sh bit of a shit. We love him all the same. Ooh, Ram's head's really good. We got some really good items so far here. This is set us up to be quite strong. Quite strong indeed. Also, my character is looking very crazy right now. Okay, these guys do like a big shot. Yeah, we gotta be staying out of the way of those. Okay, nice. I'm liking the hungry souls we got going on. We got like some nice ghost themed items working in conjunction here. I always like it when stuff like that happens. God damn, look at how much damage our Brimstone is doing right now. It's quite a lot. Whoa, I've not seen these enemies before. These are rather interesting. Looks like our little poops are doing a good job of taking them out, to be honest. Okay, good. I managed to Brimstone curse him. That We should deal insane damage while he's cursed. Okay. We are golden. But yeah, I'd really love to have more pets now. Like, obviously, so many people have said to me, like, when are you getting a turtle? <laughs> it's uh, it's something that I can't say I haven't considered. Like, I kind of would like them. <laughs> I don't... Although, like, one thing I will have to say is I don't really know enough about, like, how to take care of one and what, what is required of an, of an owner of a turtle to, to really consider it yet. But it's something that could be fun to look into. Um, and then, yeah, but cat, cats are my main deal. I'd love to get a cat. And then my girlfriend really wants a hamster as well. So I don't know what we'll end up getting when we end up getting a house. I, we haven't really had a decision. Un, it's un, Unfortunately, it's unlikely we'll be able to get a cat because my girlfriend is, like, really badly allergic to them. But um, I've basically said to her she can go like live downstairs and I'll keep the cat upstairs because I really want a cat. <laughs> I really, really want one. Ooh, planetarium. Nice. It would be sad to not have one, but at the same time, I'd be willing. Ooh. Gives you a random planetarium item every floor. Okay, nice. Unite the cosmos. And this time it gave us teeny tiny. <clears throat> I love the fact that the carrots have faces. I still find that so funny. It's so silly. There's our boss. Oh, I love the way these imps look. I don't know what it is about them, but they look so Isaac-like. They just look like they fit into the game so perfectly. But, like, they look so foreign at the same time. It's it's a weird... It's kind of a weird thing. Speedfolio does that really well. Everything looks so, like, out, out of this world for Isaac, but also at the same time looks like it fits into the game so perfectly. I will check this front of the soul heart because we've got so much HP and we got ourselves a greed shop anyways and we got Midas Touch from that guy. Nice. That's a, that's a new drop from those guys. We got gold, Golden Razor and Midas Touch. I wonder if those two have any um, any synergy about them. Probably not. But um, if we can get something that allows us to walk into enemies like Tough as Nails or whatnot, that'd be kind of nice. 
Item room, oh, item room, where are you? I definitely think we've gotten to the point now with Fiendfolia where the gate, like, it doesn't feel like it's too hard at all. It definitely feels like it adds some difficulty, but it doesn't feel like it adds an insane amount of difficulty to each run. I think I saw a tinted rock back here. No? I thought I did. Okay. Maybe not. Fool's gold rock there. Ooh, we have a, um, one of these rooms. We'll definitely do that. Double planetarium on this floor. And Venus is a great item, too. Obviously, we don't have any, um... Okay, we managed to get in there. We don't have any bombs, which makes these guys a little bit harder. But he's going down fairly quick. I managed to blap him there. We got him. Nice. <clears throat> the mega fart at the end. Lovely. Wait. I was like, where's that item room? We've still got a room down here, I see. I was very confused, but this is a very good floor. Two planetarium items. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, we got a new item here as well. Um, Gorgini Gorginian? Stationary familiar that gases at enemies in the room, freezing them in place until they are killed. Oh, hello. That seems kind of interesting. Duplicate our bombs. Isn't... It isn't amazing for us right now, but I'll keep it on me for a little bit later on, I guess. I keep trying to walk around him, but then I realise I can just walk right through. But that's a pretty cool familiar. I like the idea behind him. Head to our boss. Ooh, new boss, new boss. I've not seen this guy before. Ooh, he's got creep on the floor. Did not see the creep. Wow. We annihilated him. Holy... Um, and here we got the fettered heart. And honestly, Little Brim's probably a good pickup, because we're going to have... Similar-ish charge times. Not quite the same, but pretty similar. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this guy ends up working. I saw him st start to activate then on that spider. Oh, we're back to big size again. Okay, so he's kind of like the laser eyes where they take, take a little time to readjust and, and turn around to look at the enemy. So they're not going to freeze immediately, and obviously it's only going to freeze one pair of room. But in rooms like this where there is only one enemy, that's pretty damn good. I think this is going to be really good. I mean, it was a tier 3, so I was, an imagine I was imagining it to be decent. Nice, get some mini Isaacs in there as well. That guy up there is just stuck. Okay, so it doesn't freeze them permanently, but it does, does freeze on and off pretty quickly. Also, the music on this floor is really good. But we've also got Fettered Heart as well, which I consider to be pretty damn good. Being able to share damage between enemies is really nice. Uh, I think we'll go for this. Why not? These enemies have been reworked a little bit. You let their head open the spawn of their enemies. Venus plus Fettered plus this stone guy is just like a really good all-round combo. I'll be honest. We got a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, we got the metronome, which I, I don't consider a very good item, but I will take. We've also got this, which is going to give us two more cards. Devil and the world. I'll pop the world. Why not? Um, I'll keep my two of clubs for now. Met metronome's one of those items that I don't consider to be too good, but it can activate some good effects. Um, I, I, I always thought it was an item that like deserved to be at one, char uh, one room charge, and it was at one point, but they nerfed it. And I think since the nerf, it's always been a bit useless. Wow, wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Yeah, was not expecting to get ourselves um, a quarter there, which can, might be kind of useful. Okay, so what do we... Whoa, what the hell was that? Um, That was like a, a different style of Pokemon. Actually, Metronome, that's a good point. I was just thinking, Metronome's actually going to give us some modded items here and there that we haven't seen before, which is maybe going to be pretty nice. We've got jumper cables there. Holy, the amount of ghosts we spawned. Toxic Shock, which doesn't unfortunately do anything at the start of the room. How to jump? Ugh, no. <laughs> metronome is just infinitely more fun, in my opinion. Also, Metronome can do some really crazy shit like Genesis us, which I feel like the risk of that happening is, is kind of fun. Didn't see what we got there. 
I need to pay more attention to what item we get. Whoa, what the hell is that? <laughs> Some gnarly looking enemies here. I'm trying to look for tinted rocks here, but I'm honestly not seeing any. It's very hard to, to see them. Okay, let's uh, let's take out these guys first. I don't. I'm, I'm a bit confused on the point of this room. Oh, I suppose if you don't have uh, spectral, it makes that room a lot different. Oh, we got Mr. Moncha. Ooh, I really like these enemies. Okay, Alabaster Box is an interesting one. I'm going... <sighs> hmm. We've already taken a Devil Deal, which changes Alabaster Box a little bit. Only spawns two Soul Hearts and one Angel Deal if a Devil Deal has been previously taken. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit difficult to want to take that with, with that in mind. Um... We're on depth two, so we've only got one more floor of more options being useful. I think we take blue map here, and I think we bomb for something else. We get jumper cables, which I'll definitely take. Okay, pretty happy with that. Probably should have gone to that other secret room there. Ooh, we got a uh, got ourselves some ghosties going around. I don't think this guy can freeze anyone at this point, unfortunately. Thank you. There's Jesus juice as well. Um, eh, that's yeah, we'll take it. Why not? Plus us down to Soul Heart Health only, which is going to make the Polaroid better if we decide to go Polaroid, which I think we will. We don't have a, um, a bomb for our secret room, unfortunately. Let's keep going. I mean, I, I could have used the two clubs to get a bomb there, but I don't think it's really the best use of case of that. Ooh. We're firing at the little gemstones this time around, which is that other planetarium item. Keep forgetting we have the uh, planetarium items going on right now. Random ones. This 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 um, one seems pretty good. It seems like weaken enemies. Some sort of weakening curse. I wonder how long it'll be before I realise that the uh, grimace in the middle of the room isn't an enemy. <laughs> Entering a new room has a chance to reveal more rooms that are nearby. It can reveal secret rooms, spawn locations of the floor planetarium if if there is one. Eh, that's okay if we didn't already have blue map. But because we have blue map, I think it's a little bit useless. We do have some fellas coming out of the pits to get us. Hey. Pretty lovely. Oh, we got a golden poop that time. I think we just used the poop because we got Midas' touch. to gave us a golden poop. That's kind of nice. We do have this here. Uh, the Fool's Gold Rock. Not Fool's Gold Rock, sorry. The um, Fool Card Rock. Which would be pretty useful here. Because then we could get out of Bosphorus. But... Oh, we have already done Bosch with this guy, so... We might still do it anyways, though, because I kind of enjoy fighting all the new bosses in Bosch Rush now. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, nice. Ooh, honestly, that, that trinket, if we can get a bomb, might be pretty damn good. I really like that trinket. Let's see if we can get a bomb. Everything's charmed. And then in here we get... Do you know what? That's some bombs. That is some bombs. So we'll take that. Also head down here briefly and see what's what. Pretty cool looking. And here's this. Okay. Um. Oh, hello. You're dropping bombs on me, sir. Hmm. Do I want to trade HP for any of these? Chaos is always fun. But it's a little late for it, maybe. I'll take it, why not? Oh, wait. Chaos drops some stuff, doesn't it? Ah, it drops a penny and a battery. Okay, let's double our bombs now. Probably should have picked up that bomb before we did that, but oh well. Yeah, then I think we go back and get that trinket real quick. We should also go back and check out our secret room, too. Hey, if you don't have any red hearts, the um, rainbow poops give a soul heart because of a mod that I've got. Pretty nice.
Okay, good. Yeah, I really like this trinket. The ability to duplicate our um, little brim every now and again is going to be pretty useful. Obviously, it'll sometimes do it on our um, bottle of bandages too, which isn't as useful. A uh, chance to smelt your current trinket when picking up a coin scales will lock. Okay, that is... That is really good, but... I'm guessing you have to first smelt the, the trinket itself for that to be, be viable, so... Right now, not super viable. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave that for now. But that's, that's a really cool idea for a trinket. I, I love just anything that lets you smelt trinkets. I think they're really fun. I should probably, uh... Drop a bomb here, considering how large your explosions are. Just the hanged man. Not worry about that for too long. Little gish. Yeah, there's our double little brim look. Ooh. Got paths across. Check out this. Ooh, brimstone bombs on top of all of this. Hell yes. And honestly, matchbook, why not? Bunch of bomb-based items, but... I think it's kind of worth it. For the black art as well. Guppy's paw there didn't obviously do anything for us. We got... I don't know what that was there. Oh, okay, that was the one where it shoots out blood tears when we kill things. Beautiful. And we got our uh, secret room here as well. Okay. We need more keys back. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Am you getting more keys back, please? Can't spend another key on you, I'm sorry. Actually, I can now. I can now. Huzzah. Nah, I can do one more. I can do one more. I know I'll be at zero, but... It was so worth it. It was so worth it. Why oh, am I dealing that much damage, though? Okay, let me take the Polaroid. Let's check this out. Death certificate. I think we'll take that. I don't know if I can escape boss rush using death certificate, by the way. I'm not sure if that would work. But wasn't expecting death certificate. So now we can go and have a little peruse of the fiend folio items in the uh, death certificate room, which I'm... Quite curious about, to be honest. Okay, this guy can free some of the weaker bosses. Good. Can't believe we got death certificate. I'm so glad that I took um what's it called? Chaos. Chaos worked out marvelously. Really, two of you back to back. I hate you feetsy boys. But just open the peg, Tori Ghost can clean house sort of thing. I can also use bombs here as well if I need to, but obviously right now I'm not in a dire need to do that. Also, I need to use Brimstone's Curse a little more. Didn't really work there, did it? You can have a bomb. Holy, that, that did a really good job. Also, apparently it applied Brimstone's Curse, which I wasn't expecting. Oh, you're still here, hello. I mean... Dr. Fetus would be a pretty good pickup right now. But we do also have Bomber Boy, which makes that more dangerous. I'm, nah, I'm probably going to take like a quality 4 Fiend Folio item. 
There's probably a few of them that I haven't seen yet that are really interesting. Oh, hello there. I need to be picking up these gemstones more often, but obviously in a big room like this, they are a bit of a pain in the ass to pick up over and over. Oh, damn. There you go. We'll pop Book of Revelations here. Take this. Get out of this room. And yeah, let's pop it. Right. Let's go over to the Fiend Folio room, wherever that ends up being. We got a glass D6, which I just don't even know how that would work in a room like this. Right. I really hate navigating through these rooms. It makes me really stressed. Okay. Still haven't seen the Fiend Folio items yet. Okay. Extra money there. When I'm this size is what it really stresses me out. Okay. This is some of the uh, reversed items. So we're, we're getting near to the modded stuff at least. Yeah, this is still all the tainted treasure room stuff. Um, damage shot speed down causes enemies within to glow white once they glow they're struck by a light beam. Probably some cool stuff we can get from in here but I'm really looking for the fiend folio stuff right now. I want to quickly see what this is. Tears fired in a large cluster which split when hitting objects. That sounds kind of fun. Okay. Back over this way and down. That's definitely got such a crazy item. Last D4 this time around. There's for some reason darkness in this room. Okay, so this is all of the cursed collection stuff. And this is just all the collection items in one room. Looks to be. We do have some other things here as well. Which I'm a bit confused about now because I don't know where the hell the um, Fiend Folia items are. We'll find them eventually. We'll make our way. Or I'll pick up something by accident and ruin everything. That's equally plausible. I feel like I've gone past them because we're now like not near the modded stuff anymore. Soul heart there, that's rather nice. I forget how generous this room is with like other stuff as well. There's like money and chests and all sorts of good stuff. I hate the way they place such trash items next to the doors as well. <laughs> like, I feel like if I bump into one, it's going to be a really bad item. Nah, I'm not even going to try and grab that. I'm too scared. <clears throat> okay, we found some Fiend Folio stuff already. We got what seems to be a spoiled Magic Mush. Fraudulent Fungus. One Rotten Heart, Speed Up, Damage Up, Ranger. Plus one Immortal Heart on use. Damn, that's pretty good. Okay, nothing here is crazy good. Fetal Fiend. Damage Up and Pick Up replaces all Soul Hearts and Black Hearts with Immortal Hearts. On Pick Up replaces all Red Hearts with Immortal Hearts at 2 to 1 ratio. Um, excuse me? That guy just, like, nick off with an item. <laughs> what?
Enemies killed leave a short-lived ghost aura. Standing in the aura grants tears up. Interesting. Sanguine hook. Some of these it's very hard for us to tell. Right, right, one sec. Let me go and quickly pause and check the wiki. See if it's up to date. It most certainly is not. <laughs> so, can't really utilize that. Grants a damage up which scales with the current r records in the Fiendfolio Community Discord ca uh, counting channel. What the hell? What does that even mean? Replaces all found items and mystery gift, rerolls a special fixed drop. That's really, really cool, but like we've already got um, chaos, so it doesn't really do anything for us. All the platerium items. Still so many items, what the hell? C section there, of course. Oh, we got some more items here. Okay, let's have a look. See, let's see what we got. So, iPad moves all entities to the bottom of the room. Jerk item. <laughs> okay. Um, B skin. We had that before. Every tier fire triggers three weaker tiers spread evenly around the player. Each time this effect triggers, the angle of t all tiers increments clockwise. Devil's umbrella. Sometimes fire a flurry of weak tears that spawns the yellow creep and scales the luck. Risks reward. Can be used to reroll items in the treasure room into one of the high, one of higher quality. It's achieved by traversing a unique prismonic zone and fighting a hermit. Golem's rock. Spawn a golem trinket on pickup. Um, on use, grind your current trinket into a rock trinket. And uh, grind regular trinkets into rock trinkets. Doesn't really give us a way to, uh, to thingy though, does it? Um, smelt them. Look a faint to chance to shoot sewing needles that pierce and inflict enemies with a stone. So enemies reflect damage onto other enemies. Familiar that charges um, to shoot an Ipecac explosive when the player is hit has a chance to drop on the floor and target enemies automatically. Hitbox size um, is reduced. Okay, we don't have anything amazing there. I'm looking for something that's like... Okay, I, think, I think that's it for the Fiend Folio items by the looks of it. Also, Pinhead appears twice for some reason. Strange. Also, why is Battery Pack in here? This is a really hard decision to make, I'll be honest. Still another room down here we haven't been to. I don't know what to take. I don't know whether to take a Fiend Folio item now because I can't really find... One that's going to be insane. I kind of want to take B-Skin and see how that would work. But I feel like it might not work because I've got Brimstone. Oh, we've got some more Fiend items down here. Um, what's that snail do? Can be thrown and will spin on the floor. Um, any pickups, enemies, tears, it touch it will be re-rolled. I can't really see what the, the snail does, sadly. Orbiting fireballs that spawn predically around the player. Double tap to shoot them. Okay, we know how that works. Um, damn, this is this is difficult. Hmm. What do we want? Like, I, f I kind of think I should just take a vanilla item that I know will give us a guaranteed effect. But I'm not sure. Fiend Folio items do speak to me a little bit more. I'll be honest. Let's take B-Skin and hope for the best. If it doesn't do anything, I'm going to be really sad. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, there's some stuff happening. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I'm glad I took that now. That's got some cool stuff going on with it. 
They like shoot out an extra barrage of shots whenever we fire. Not the craziest thing that we could take from um from a death certificate, but it's something new. And we had the only time we'd seen B skin before was in a glitchy Doctor Fetus setup, which was really buggy. I realized I could have taken like Doctor Fetus and had some real cr crazy shit going on with our brimstone bombs, but I wanted to go with something that. At least had a little more synergy with what we have right now. I've also been hit straight away because I'm a dumber. I was just about to say, why are we freezing everything? But that's because of our random planetarium item each floor. I was hoping for like a tier modifier in there. But firing extra tiers is all good with me. Also, Fettered Heart seems to be doing some really insane stuff with freezing. Damn it. Oh, okay. That's pretty interesting. Firing brimstone seems to do quite a lot for us. Like, quite a lot, a lot. Okay. So, we using our brimstone bomb seems to have quite an additional effect with B-Skin now. So, that means B-Skin's even a little more useful than I thought, which is really nice. Look at the amount of shots we fight when we do that. Oh, hello. It's a rather large room. Overcharges. Um, honestly, none of those are super good. Because we don't have an active right now. I guess I'll just take algae's. Although, I don't know. I kind of want to keep the glass D6, to be honest. Let's take this instead. At least it's different. What we've also got here? Skolex? Yep, Skolex. I don't know where the laces are coming from, by the way. Book of Jubilees is great here. Bookworm. Broken dice, rerolls all pedestals and items, but gives one broken heart each use while held. Remove one broken heart at the start of each floor. Kind of decent. Let's say Soul of Eden, see if we get anything good. Sadly not. Then we can get the Glass D6 back. At least. Bit of a wacky run, really. Bit of a wacky run. <clears throat> I'm sure some people are going to be like, Oh, what a waste of a... What a waste of a death certificate. But I... I would rather test out something new than get a really powerful run. Especially when we already have a really powerful run. Like, this run didn't need any additional power, really. Oh, what is that enemy? I am not a big fan of that bad boy. That looks rather gross. There was a Skolex fella there. Imagine it with like a soy milk on top of this as well. Whoa, what the hell? I didn't even notice that guy. Just cover the room in shots when we do that. We got Luna this floor. Hence the revealed secret rooms here. Actually, no, don't we have blue map? Or shouldn't we see more secret rooms in this? We have Luna. I don't know. That's a pretty cool enemy. What are these things? I don't like them. They're screaming out children. I don't like the context. Ooh, thank you, Book of Jubilees. Not that I need money, but... I guess, I was gonna say I guess we could do hush, but we did take quite a long time picking out an item, so maybe not. I priest and judgment, sadly no. Yeah, anything that gets close to us gets hit by our extra B skin tears. But then again, I also think as well, like that's a testament to Fiend Folio's, like, sign of quality when there is an item of theirs that I'd rather check out that seems cool than an item that's, like, a guaranteed win item. I do wonder what is, like, the worst item someone's taken in, 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 um, in a death certificate room without it being a meme. Like, not just taking Brother Bobby because, of, because they wanted a bad item. But, like, I wonder what is, like, the worst item that's been taken for a genuine reason. Because I bet there's a good few.
Oh, we got the glitch again. What the hell? So buggy. We got all these books as well. They give you playing cards by the looks of it. Why not? <laughs> we got two from our Queen of Hearts. Yeah, we got like playing decks here. Didn't make anything in here go. What the hell? Suicide King. No thank you. And playing card things seem pretty good. Moon card, why not? That's that's not a red item in any way, shape, or form. I don't know who classes that as a red item, but it's most certainly not. Oh, we got chaos. Of course it's not a red item. We have chaos. Let's keep going here. Yeah, pl if someone could please let me know what the hell is causing this bug, it'd be nice to know, because I am very, very perplexed by it. Um, is anything else we want in here? Didn't we have a glass D6 at some point? There it is. Okay. Yeah, if someone could let me know what's going on with that, that'd be really nice to know. Okay, we got Lunar again. Oh no, we got Jupiter, but that's weird. So because we had Luna on the on the previous floor, it gave us the extra secret rooms. But it's not going to give us the extra, like, thing of light. Strange, the way that works. Lightning card. Cause all enemies in the room to preoccupy fire lasers. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. I'm at least going to try that out. Okay, that seems pretty good. Obviously not useful in a room like that, but that seems like a pretty interesting item. I just want my glass D6 back. Right, I'm probably want to go this way where the double um, second secret rooms are. Golden penny there, we won't need that though. Okay, I was wrong, it's not this way. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't think about the fact that I'd be pushing the bomb all over the place when I did that. Randomizes shop prices. Some items will have consistently shifting prices. Ooh, that's like not good for right now, but really cool in general. I really should just be using bombs as I walk into rooms, shouldn't I? We've got so many of them. The power that we wield is pretty immense. I like the power. Oh, we got this guy. Just a soul heart from him. You can get angel deals from that dude, apparently. I don't know if he costs hearts or anything. I'm really not sure. Oh, this is kind of a tough room. I really like the way those things fall. <laughs> It's such a good addition. This makes him so much more stylish. Okay, where the hell is our boss? Probably down back the way the rooms we haven't been in yet. I mean, that's literally how, how where it has to be. It can't be any of the rooms that we've already been in. But more so what I meant is, I bet it's the all the way back at the starting room. But actually, I think I might have been wrong. Looks like it's this way. Okay, this is a good bomb room. Music on this floor is so good. Ow. Oh, it's so good. This is really good as well. Yeah, for bosses, the bombs with the uh, bee skin. Got some cool stuff going on. There you go, we got him. Okay. 
Here we go. To the weird music in the cathedral. In the chest, sorry. Okay, some bad items here. Although, we do have mapping for this, so this, this red key isn't all that bad, but it's only going to be a one additional item. It wouldn't be a red item. I love the secret room finding sound as well. I mean, Fate's kind of nice for flight, and then with that we can get this. Big chub. Pentagram. See, that's not too bad, not too bad. Damn. I mean, I suppose we just do this and buy both. Actually, we don't need to buy both. Let's take my glass D6 again, just in case. I really don't know what I'd be using for at this point, but why not grab it? Oh, look at that enemy. That's so cool. I just, I just, I'm still in awe. Like, I feel like that's, it sounds really, it sounds bad, but it's one thing that I feel like not enough content creators express enough. Like, I can't remember who I was watching recently. I think it was Dan Giesling. I really enjoy his content. Um, but like, they're playing Fiend Folia and they're just like, oh look, a new enemy. And I'm like, oh my fucking god, that's so cool. <laughs> Maybe I'm just overreacting. I find it really like insane, some of the stuff that they have available and I don't know. I, I just react to how I feel when I see it. It's, like, it's obviously I don't want people to, to like overreact. I don't want them to be forcing it. Cause that's just bad. But like, I would have expected, especially some of the more long-term Isaac creators, to be really hyped up about seeing all this new stuff. Especially when it's like, the game plays a pretty flawless FPS, which I really was not expecting. The balance is really good. I really thought the balance would be very skewed with Fiendfolio, but it's not. And it all feels very cohesive and feels kind of in theme with the game for the most part. Which, yeah, I think is a, definitely a challenge to overcome, and they did a very good job of overcoming that challenge. Whatever, baby. 3.0, why not? Is it is it like a general rule that every Robo Baby has to be last and better, worse than the last one? So you start off with Robo Baby Normal, pretty good. Robo Baby 2.0, kind of trash. Robo Baby 3.0, zero quality, not worth a damn. Ooh, what the hell? Holy. Oh, we got a bed there as well from Book of Jubilees. We don't need it though, obviously. Big fat boys. Okay, these guys, I keep forgetting these guys have eye frames. Take a little while to kill. Pays out with coins after using it an increasing amount of times. What the heck? It's literally a light switch. It's a light switch that just pays out with money. This seems broken. It gave us a chest that time. Chalice familiar that gets filled with blood each time you get hit. When moving to the next floor, gain devil themed rewards based on how many hits you took on the previous floor. Cutting a chance for devil items moving to the next floor uh, with the chalice empty has a negative effect. I mean, we're not going to move to the next floor, so that's fine. But this seems really, 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 really good. It's literally just free coins as long as you have the time. But I'm guessing the whole idea of this is, do you really want to sit there and farm up coins with this thing? I mean, it gave me a chest at one point, which I don't really understand. I mean, obviously I don't need the money, but I'm just kind of seeing if there's a limit to it. But that thing seems, seems pretty busted. I love these enemies that can, like, use other items. There was a gifty post the other day of one of them using euthanasia and just insta-killing. I found that pretty funny. I actually really like these idea of these enemies as well. These little flies that keep things invincible unless you, like kill everything else or press buttons or whatnot. I think that's a really good like design space. Also, these guys, which seem to be like rage flies, I think, I'm not sure exactly what they do, but I think they like make them more aggressive or whatnot. Okay, we got a boss fight. Holy, we like one shot him. But there you go. That is all she wrote. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. What a fun run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.